Boogs, do the intro. Hi, welcome back to Adventures of Boog. I am Booger. This is the Tiger Spider King and Sydney. And today we're framing walls. So guys, um, over, I guess last night did we do it? Or two nights ago? Thursday night, two nights ago. That we uh, taped out our um, layout on the floor. We had this laid out before in the bus, but we hadn't had the wheel wells framed up and we hadn't had the flooring in. It was really rough. Yeah, so what we did the other night was we actually took a tape measure out here, started measuring things out, understanding how it's all gonna fit, understanding how it's all gonna work together. And we've actually taped out our floor plan. That's why you can see the green tape on the floor. Um, we went and got our two by fours, and we're actually splitting them down into, well, I guess a two by two, which is an inch and a half by inch and a half. Um, but we got 12 foot two by fours because the highest point in the bus is six feet. Um, it's actually just under six feet. So we can use a 12 foot two by four and get a lot more boards out of it than we can if we went and bought like eight foot two by twos. Perfect. So it's saving on material that way. It's a little bit cheaper buying the board, a two by four, and then splitting it down. It's actually like a dollar and 20 cents cheaper to do that, which I know on the beginning of the bus is not a lot, but when you get a lot of boards, it becomes quite a bit of money. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to. And uh, we're gonna start at the back of the bus with the bed frame and work our way forward. Okay guys, so just before we um, start framing this and closing this all up, we're actually gonna take some vapor barrier and run it on the inside behind all this lighting and stuff to help prevent dust and water coming into um, into the bus from the outside because as you can see in the top left there there's actually like a screw hole right to the outside of the bus so that's not very nice um, so let's uh, do that now so we put the plastic in there basically just gooped it around and stuck it onto all the screws for all the lights and stuff that are on there that seems to be working pretty good um, one thing that we did have to do is I actually built these frames before I put the floor in um, so they were too tall so we had to go and trim them down and same on that side but I forgot to uh, trim down that part for the key latch so I got to go do that again. Um, but now we're just going to screw that, screw this one in and I'm going to go trim that one down. Okay guys so when we're working on this it's hard because nothing in the bus is really square. <laughs> There's lots of curves, <laughs> lots of <laughs> unaligned stuff. But we gotta try and keep it as square as possible because if we don't make it square, then the bed's not gonna fit in this area. Yeah, so, on an angle. yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm measuring from this piece of steel, which is actually part of kind of the back frame of the bus, and I'm measuring from there forward to the edge of this board because this board can't go any further backwards because it's right here against the steel. So this board is not gonna move. I wanna hold it there, and then I'm just gonna kind of measure here so that needs to be at four and three eighths of an inch from this board here. So now I'm gonna go and measure that same thing here and we're gonna put it in at four and three eighths and that's where we would screw it. So that's what we're gonna do on both sides and make sure that the bed frame starting point is nice and square to the bus so that we can measure everything off of that. So we got those side frames in and that was the absolute ordeal. Um, definitely did not go as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, but before we put on the top board to go across here, we need to take this door handle apart and make it so that the uh, door handle is like down at an angle over here. Because right now to open it up you have to put the door handle to go up like this, which will end up hitting the board. Um, that we're putting across there, so that's not going to work. So we need to move the door handle so it goes down and out of the way. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. I think we just undo this thing and then uh, adjust it maybe. Okay Beans, so that's what I meant by like switching that down. Um, now the uh, door, when you open it, it's down like this and it won't come in the way of the board that's up here. So that's perfect. Just like that. Awesome. 
Those guys are in. And now Sydney is standing right in front of our bed. So that very green line that goes all the way across the bus there, um, that's the front of the bed. So now we're going to start working on um, working on that frame, I guess. Um, it might be some work. But we'll see. basically complete until we put the water tank in there. <laughs> I look like Caillou. Um, <laughs> and uh, so now we're going to start building um, the, the pony wall for our washroom. Um, so what we're going to do with the washroom is we're actually going to kind of have like a half wall that comes up to the windowsill and then it slides over to the window and actually goes all the way up so that we can kind of tuck the uh, toilet underneath that pony wall while still keeping not losing a window. What? You're gonna well, say something? I'm just, that toilet that we were looking at last night, there's nowhere where you could tuck it. Yeah, well the, the back vent part can sit underneath yeah. there, right? So rather than having that directly with a wall and we push it out four inches, now we can yeah. hide that four inches back in. That's true. So it, it, does, it doesn't save us a ton of space, but, but it's gonna make it so that we're getting the absolute maximum amount of space we can without losing windows. I know when we started this bus build, a big thing for, I think, both me and Sid from our discussions we had was to try and keep as many yeah. windows as possible. It makes it feel a lot bigger when you have more natural light and you can see outside. Yeah, whatever. and it will make us working much more productive, I think, too. Yeah. Usually daylight helps out a lot. Yeah. So, I know it sucks for insulation value because it definitely will uh, <laughs> decrease your insulation value of the bus, but it looks awesome. Okay. It's bright light. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start building this pony wall right here um, behind Sid. And uh, it's a chilly, blizzardy yeah, spring day in Alberta. April 5th. <laughs> and it is snowing crazy. Pictures came up on our Facebook of last year and we had 20 degrees and we were eating ice cream in Calgary. Yeah. And this year I'm we have. Sandals. Yeah. <laughs> and this year we have two feet of snow on the ground in a blizzard. <laughs> um, so welcome to Alberta. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start working on that pony wall. Of the last video which I know a lot of you didn't um, we had a little challenge that if we got 10 spoopies <laughs> commented in the comments that I would drink a Red Bull and espresso shot with cream mixed together this is the best we could do yeah we d a don't have an espresso maker and B the grocery stores are kind of crazy to go to yeah, right now. So. so that's what we've got um, so this is Red Bull that's the espresso shot and cream um, so I think we need to do another challenge on this episode Okay. But for like both of us instead of just me <laughs> drinking shitty stuff. <laughs> no. So I think <laughs> if we get 25 likes on this episode, okay. 25 likes on this episode, we will both get a like super hot wing and eat it. Like a like last dab hot wing. Like we have to finish it? Yeah. Like okay. have to eat it. Okay. 25 likes, 
on this episode, and we'll both have a last dab hot wing. Or maybe not last dab, but like super spicy hot sauce kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's, uh... I think this has to go in first. Okay. We're trying not to curdle the cream um, while we do it's this. It's quite creamy. Oh, good. Oh, it <laughs> smells like coffee. It smells really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is like, I'm only gonna put like that much. Not even a lot. Okay. But then you have to pour the Red Bull over like this. Uh, the so we've got the creamy uh, espresso shot in there. Pour it along the edge of the so glass. So pour this along the side? Yeah. You tell me when. Until you're comfortable, really. Ugh, this that is seems gonna like be... a lot. Oh, that's a lot? Oh, yeah, she's curdled already. Is it? Yep. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Only a little. Oh yeah. It's bad? It's awful. Um. <laughs> Look at the glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was drinking curdle milk. Oh, Tanner is such a sensitive stomach too. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 25 like guys and we'll do a hot wing next one. Um, I hope you guys are liking the walls so far. Um, it's actually going pretty well. Um, we've had to do lots of trims and um, adjustments. I think that's mostly because the roof is curved. So when you put something up and you measure it, it's very hard to measure a curved roof. Yeah, it is, because um, you can't Yeah, it's like put anything against it. Yeah, so it's a little bit difficult, but it's really going well. Um, we've got a couple walls up. Um, it looks like the bathroom's gonna work perfectly. We had a little seat in there. We fit me, Booger, and um, Sydney all in the bathroom at once, so that's pretty good. <laughs> With the door open, though. With the door open, obviously. Um, and yeah, we're just, we're just trucking along. So we're gonna have a quick break, have a drink, and, uh, and then... Uh, Keep moving on. gonna wrap up this episode of Adventures with Boo. Um, so we got the water closet all framed in and we got the beginning of the mechanical room framed in. Um, we're starting to work more and more on the framing as well as we are gonna be having a pretty interesting um, divider door that's gonna come in here because we want to try and make it so that the whole entire bus is as open as possible. So I want our door to actually be able to open halfway um, width of the bus. Um, in order to do that, we're going to actually have to make the door like double fold into itself. So that's going to be very interesting. I'm going to be coming up hopefully rather soon. Um, but just before we go, I just wanted to comment on a couple of things. Um, by no means are me and Sydney experts at building a schoolie at all. Um, this is obviously the first schoolie we've ever done. Um, and we're just wanting to chronicle the way we're building it and hopefully giving you guys some hints on maybe how you could build your bus and also how even if we're doing something completely wrong you guys get to see it before you do the exact same mistake um, so I would like you guys to take everything we do with a grain of salt um, by no means are we experts in framing and flooring anything like that um, but we do appreciate the views um, we really appreciate the support and stuff we've gained over the last little while as well as all the great comments pushing us forward, the family and friends that have been supporting us, and um, my parents allowing us to do the conversion on their uh, on the land here, as well as just uh, allowing us to um, for fulfill this dream. So we really appreciate all that. And uh, on the next episode, um, we hope to see more walls going up and more transformation occurring in the bus, as well as if you guys um, go down. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like button 25 times. Um, me and Sydney will eat a super spicy hot wing. So um, you guys do the 25 likes and we'll find the hottest hot sauce that we can find. And uh, we'll have a little snack there for you. Um, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. 
and have a great night. I went by your house, what a big mistake.